Hello, hello everybody, my name is Python, and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 5 server on the 18th episode, my friends, and thank you so much for joining me, and indeed, once again, for the crazy amount of support you have been shown for this series, we're reaching pretty much a thousand likes on every single episode, which is just beyond all expectations, I, I don't really have much expectations for this series, but you guys have been absolutely blowing it out of the water, which is just amazing, so thank you guys so much. Now, today's fan art comes from a user by the name of Dariox, or at Dariox39 on Twitter, and he decided to go ahead and sketch out sort of a cartoony version of my Minecraft creeper character, all happy looking, with a little pig below him sort of looking up at me like saying, what are you doing with that sword? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Dariax. I love the style and the coloring and everything like that. It's amazing. I love the cartoony, sort of child-friendly nature of it. It's really, really good. So thank you so much. If you want to send in your fan out, guys, email address will, of course, be on screen. You can also send it in through Twitter if you so wish, and you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. Now, today, my friends, I have an inventory full of a bunch of weird and wonderful materials. Can you guys guess what I'm going to be making in today's episode just from all of the stuff that I have here? Hmm? Hmm? White stained glass, sea lanterns, a bunch of dirt, seeds, a hoe, carpet, door. Well, if you were going to be guessing something along the lines of a basic villager breeder, then you would be very much correct. I would like to make myself a basic villager breeder in today's episode. And basically, what is going to happen, guys? What is going to happen is the villager breeder is going to temporarily reside on top of this place here. I'm hoping it's actually going to be big enough. Let's just uh, hop up here real quick. Uh, all the way up. I'm going to go all the way up to the top. So use our slime launcher as well. Ha! There we go. Fantastic. Uh, hmm. Okay, so maybe not here per se, but what I want to have happen is I want the villagers, when they uh, when they get bred and they grow up, I want them to wind up coming in here and then falling all the way down to the bottom there. So hopefully they can just like, you know, walk out and just be a part of my underground project, I guess. That's the intention anyway. So all we need to do is we need to set up an area over here, a 9x9, nine nine, well actually technically speaking, an 11x11 11 11 area is the amount we need. So let's just go ahead and uh, flatten out some of these here hills. There we go. And it shouldn't be that difficult to do this thing actually. So let's say the building, the wall will be there. So let's go ahead and say one, two, three, four. And then this is where the water's gonna go. Uh, boom, there we go. So that should all become, you know, tilled over and moisturized and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be amazing. So we need to go four blocks in all directions. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Just carry on doing all of this. For those of you guys who don't know, obviously uh, water moisturizes up to four farmland blocks away. So that's a thing. Okay. So that's that all done. Okay, sweet. So what we need to do now is we need to start making ourselves a temporary structure. And I think all we're going to do is use glass just so we can actually see what's going on inside the place. So let's go ahead and do a little something like this. We're going to put ourselves a, a stained glass border all around the edge here because stained glass is something we have in abundance right now. So <laughs> that's absolutely totally fine and dandy. All right, so uh, let's grab out some sea lanterns. What we're going to do with this is uh, place them down like so. So there's a little bit of light inside the place. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do all of this. I want to try and do this thing together with you guys on camera. So if you guys would like to go with a similar design, you could do exactly that. And talking of the design, it actually comes from a fellow uh, hermit, Impulse SV. His tutorial was the one I watched for this very design. Um, well, I'm making some slight alterations here and there, but it is broadly speaking the very same design. So yeah. Okay, so what we need to do now is we now need to make ourselves a bit of a funneling system. And I think how I'm going to do that is we're going to head in here. We need to go down a couple blocks. And a couple of blocks need to continue over this way. Okay, and then we need a water bucket, rather like that. And then... Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, no, no. There's a, there's a bunch of crap going on down there. What? What? I don't even know what's going on there, mate. There's some weird stuff going on here. Okay, right. So what we need now is a trap door. Okay, trap door. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult. Right, there we go. A little bit of that. And this needs to go like that and be opened up. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to head up. <sighs> oh, God damn it. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I could do a smart thing there, but apparently not. 
Right, logic would say that a good idea would be to plant these down and then just continue building around it so these things could grow in the meantime. So that's exactly what I'm going to go and do. You can use any crops, really. Uh, ex Wait, beetroot. Do villagers plant beetroot? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Huh. They do like the three main crops, you know, potatoes, carrots, and wheat, but I'm not entirely sure about beetroot. Okay, cool. Uh, so there we go. Let's get that all done like that. We are going to be needing, uh, needing ourselves some more things. Uh, let's go ahead and grab out. Right, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to do this, because what's going to happen here is the little baby villagers will be small enough to fit in the gap here into the into the water flow here, but the big villagers won't be able to get through. So, yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so let's do this. We need to bring this up rather like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to start trying to control the water flow here. So, let's, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of how to do this. Uh, should we do this side and then this side? That's how it goes. I think that's how it goes. I think it is. Temporarily, there's going to be no vines here for a sec. Because I need to make the, I need to make the funneling system. So, yeah. Uh, so do this, do this, go all the way up. And let's go ahead and continue on with the whole water flow thing. So we've got a bunch of water so we can actually do this thing. Huh, I can't go down there. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. And so one is going to go on there as well. So one is going to go in here. Okay. And then we're going to put another one up here. And then another one up in here. And this, hmm, probably one block higher, but uh, this is this is basically where the, the flow is going to go. All right, guys, and here we go. I think I've got the water flow all in place here. We just need to make double sure that the villagers won't be able to escape anywhere. So I think, oh, there we go, just about got out of there. Okay, so let's do that. And I think for the sake of safety and not having zombies drop down and all that kind of stuff, I'm also going to go ahead and do a little bit of this. Okay, it shouldn't be that difficult, so let's uh, go down a block here, and then we need to go down another one, so here, okay, fantastic, and then let's just do this, and that should just about do it. Okay, fantastic, so all we need to do now is we need to go ahead and, oh, hello, see, see, there's zombies around, there's zombies around, you cheeky little beggars, hey, you there, you, get off me, go on, get out of it. You, you son of a gun. You think you're so smart. Go, get out of it. Uh, right, yeah, everything. I don't need all this crap. Right, cool. So, the next thing we need to do is we actually need to make a sort of mini village because that's just how this thing kind of works. Uh, don't you do it. Don't do it. Go on, get wrecked. Fantastic. Right. We need to do a little something something here, my friends. We need to go down a few blocks like this. Because, well, technically speak, well, I don't really know the, the technicalities behind it, like, in an exact format. But, uh, the way villagers work is they need, like, a, an open block space above them. And what this is going to do right here is it's going to do exactly that. Now, according to Impulse's tutorial, we need to go down seven blocks, okay? We've gone down three so far. Uh, that's four. That's five. Okay, six and seven. Okay, fantastic. So this is going to be the level where the technical village is going to be. So all we need to do is we need to do a little bit of this because this is where a bunch of doors are going to go. Okay, so, uh, oh, talking of doors, we need some, huh? Oh, no, we've got some. Okay, fantastic. So I was going to put nine doors on each side. So that would be six. Uh... Yep, 7, 8, 9, and obviously 9 times 2 is 18, so I had the perfect amount of doors, which is fantastic. So let's go place you down there, let's put you down there, and let's grab ourselves a whole bunch more doors like this. Okay, fantastic. And then we just need to make sure that the areas behind them are nicely lit up, because otherwise we could be in a spot of bother when it comes to having the, you know, the villager down here. We need only one villager down here, but if he dies... We could be in some dire straits here, folks, so let's try to not have that happen, huh? <laughs> yeah, that should be just about it. Everything's nicely lit up, which is good to see. Everything down here lit up. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, good. So, we need to try and cure or find a villager that we can bring back to this place. I think curing one is probably going to be the safest bet, because I don't just want to assume that I can go ahead and siphon villagers off of people's breeders, because, you know, that's... <laughs> You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody is uh, is willing to give up a villager or two for the cause that is my own. Oh, good lord above. Hello! Yep. 
Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, you want to go? I'm ready for you. I'm ready. I'm ready. I was born ready. Go on, get off me. Go on, who else wants to go? Huh? Uh, you, you want to go over there, broski? Come on, man. I'm ready for you. Oh, jeez. Hello. Hi. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, gee. Oh, okay. 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 That's fantastic. Can someone sleep, please? No. No. I need someone to sleep. Someone sleep, please. I really need them to sleep. Okay. Come on, man. Uh, right. Let's let's get up here. And can I like do this without dying and stuff? Oh jeez, that's a creeper. Oh, let's roll, let's roll. Oh, screw this, man. Well, if if no one else will do it, then I'll have to do it. Oh, let's go down. We gotta we gotta sleep real quick. This <laughs> is getting a little bit dangerous, huh? <laughs> jeez, man. All right, guys. So progress update. We've got to sell some brewing stands. I just went to the Nether to get some mushrooms, so we could therefore make some fermented spider eyes. We've got some blaze powder, of course, for the furnace. Not furnace fuel. The brewing stand fuel. Oh, I remember a time when there was no brewing stand fuel, but now there is, and, well, probably not much we can do about it, to be honest. But, oh well, doesn't matter too much. We've got the golden apples, got ourselves a bunch of stuff left, which is amazing. Uh, right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set these to go, and then I'm going to try and organise my inventory just a wee little bit. So, all we need to do now, uh, I'm gonna, I might have to request that we don't sleep. Can't believe I'm saying it, but I think that may have to be a thing that happens, you know? Okay, right, I think what I'm going to do for now, though, is I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some little holding chambers, I guess. Uh, maybe, like, two by twos. I think it'll be easier to get out of a two by two area, right? So, let's do this. And, yeah, all we need to do is we need to lure the village of zombies into this place here. And then what can happen is they can get cured, and then we can move them from there. Okay, fantastic. That's not, That sounds like a plan. Can I request that we don't sleep tonight, please? There we go. Sweet. All right, and I'll make another holding cell as well, just to... Fantastic. All right, so all we've got to do now is we have to wait, we have to hunt around, and we have to hopefully be lucky. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go and uh, play the waiting game just a little bit here, folks. Well, guys, I've got a massive zombie fan club, but unfortunately, none of them are villager zombies. Good lord. Right, now the good news is, uh, this was like the last night attempt of uh, trying to get one naturally, but uh, I just had a message back from my uh, good buddy Tango Tech, and he said I can go and siphon some villagers from his villager breeder in the swamp biome. So I very much appreciate it, Tango. Thank you so much, man. I'm going to be going ahead and doing that if I don't manage to get a villager zombie on this night. And also a big thanks to the hermits for not sleeping. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, nope. 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 Not dying like that. No way, sir. All right, come on there, broskies. Oh, look at all you guys. <laughs> look at these guys. There's loads of them. Jesus, man. Holy. Wow. This is, uh, this is quite, that is quite hefty, huh? Huh. Okay. Uh. Go for it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting any, so, yeah. All right, well, time to kill these guys the, the, the ye olde way, I guess. Come on. Ha! Go on, get wrecked. My sweeping edge sword will murk all of you. Go on, get off me. Get off me. Why every single one of you? Go on, get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on, go on. Every single one of you. Python versus three million zombies. I'll take all of you down still there, broski. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, that was a successful takedown. Why, thank you very much. All right, cool. Well, now that we've established that I can't get them the proper way, I'll have to go and siphon some from Tango. So, yeah, let's head over to his base. Let's see what's going down. Alright guys, so with any luck, what I've done here is I've made a bit of a siphon track so we can get the villagers to go through the portal. I've got some minecart tracks in the nether going towards my portal, and then they should wind up in the underground base itself. Now obviously, initially we don't want them to be in the underground base, we want to sort of take up the minecart rail tracks and then bring them up to the surface, because then we can put them in the breeder, and then anything that comes from the breeder, of course, will wind up in the underground base. So, yes. But yeah, anyways guys, this is indeed Tango's swamp, and uh, boy oh boy, swampy does it look. But seriously though, he's got some pretty epic plans for his base. He's got himself a quad witch up here, obviously, which is absolutely amazing. He's got himself a villager breeder as well, which again, is absolutely amazing. Super useful, obviously. So, yes. Now then, what we've got to do is we've got to head through here, go downwards, and I've configured the track so it should just go straight outside. So, as soon as I place this down, someone should wind up in there. Boom! There we go. Ooh, hello! 
Hello! Mr. Librarian! Hey, buddy, I'm gonna see what he's got. I'm gonna see what this guy's got. Uh, oh, it's a cartographer. Eh, pff, I don't really care about it. A boom! Go on. You going through the nether, buddy? Go on, off you go. There you go, broski. So, what we need to do now is we need to go through the nether, pick up the minecart track. Well, not minecart track, the minecart cart. And, uh, see if we can do this. Oh! I did it! I did it! I did it! Oh my god, he's coming! Go on, buddy! Go, 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 go! So you got to go all the way over to my portal, okay? you got to go all the way over to my portal. Yes. 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 Hmm. Hmm. In agreement. Indeed. Indeed. All right, come on. All the way up. Oh, don't you dare blow me roll back on me, sunshine. Go on, Mr. Librarian. There we go. Obviously, this is all temporary. I will, of course, go ahead and uh, put the nether mini hub thing back to how it was. You know, leave things the way you find them. The general rule in life. Very good thing to go by. But, uh, yeah, here we go. So, this guy will now go through the portal. And then we'll be good to go. So, here we go. There's my portal. And through you go. Haboom! One. There you go. Alright. And, yeah, he's gone. Okay, sweet. So, now, we should be good to go. Yes? Woo! I got my first little villager! Amazing! Alright, can I, like, can I, like, push him along? Oh, I can. Okay. So, you, my good sir, I'm going to push you, and I'm going to push that against it. Yeah! Look at that! We got ourselves our first ever villager, boys! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And he's moving himself. <laughs> Lol. Right, I need some blocks. Uh, some solid stone blocks, preferably. Yeah, fantastic. Right, I'm gonna extend this along and keep doing so as we as we get more villagers. So, yeah, so something like that, which is making a temporary holding area for now because we need to make the tracks go all the way up to the surface at some point as well. So, you know, that's something to consider. So here we go. Just gonna block this off. And there we go. All right, we're good to go. We can get rid of this, and then he can move to his heart's container. All right, fantastic. So, let's go back through the nether. Let's get ourselves another couple villages. I'm going to start off with three for now. So, two for the farm, one for the doors, and then we'll be good to go from there in terms of, like, the absolute basics. Come on, then, villager number two. Off you go. Oh, it's a nitwit. Are you kidding? Oh, man. I need guys that will farm, and I don't think nitwits farm. Or do they? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to research the wiki real quick, actually. I'm gonna do that right now so I know whether or not to keep them or not. Uh, well, you guys, villager number two has just been obtained. And it turns out I was, uh, I was right to be curious or dubious about the villager. Because, yeah, we need at least one brown-robed villager. And this guy will, will be the one. So, yeah. Oh, there he goes. Ha! <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, so, this guy can go in the doors area, and then this guy can go in the farm. We, pr preferably speaking, I would like another brown-coated villager, because the, the it's only the brown-coated ones that actually farm. So, yeah. Alright, sweet. So, let's get us on another villager. And here we go, my friends. The third villager has just been obtained, and I've actually been very, very lucky, because I got myself another brown-coated one. Right, let me just go ahead and uh, block that off. And yes, all you are going to do now is you, my good sir, are going to go onto the track. Go on, go. Onto, onto the track with you. Go on, go on, get. There you go, fantastic. Right, and can I like push you on? <laughs> fantastic, there we go, my friends. We've got three villagers. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so now all I've got to do is I've got to tidy up. And then I have got to transport the villagers way up top into the breeder. Okay, shouldn't be too difficult. Just a cleanup operation, I guess. Alright, let's do it! And there we have it, my friends. Cleanup operation is nearly done. Let's just get rid of this granite. And yes, that will just about do it. Cleanup is done. And now we can get back to our base. And we can transport those villagers up to... Oh, hang on. So careless with my pickaxe. Jeez, man. You could freaking poke someone's eye out with that. <laughs> Alright, back to our base. Alright guys, so now we've got the difficult part. The railings are all in and this guy is absolutely freaking out. <laughs> Look at his head! What's going on with him? <laughs> Alright, here we go. So this guy's got to continue going all the way up, all the way up. We're nearly at the surface now, folks. And then this guy, I've made a like a, a direct drop-in on the farm. And yeah, this guy will be my, my first victim. I mean, not victim, my first farmer, dude. Yes, you are going to live a long and fruitful life and produce many babies. Go on, get up here. Get up here. Go on. There we go. There we go. Come on, broski. Come on. You're almost there. You're almost there. Come on, man. You're almost there. Come on. Come on. There we go. And there we go. He's going to fall in. Whee! Ha! Yay! I did it! Wait. <laughs> what? 
I didn't realize I could do that. He's not even out of the minecart and he's still farming. Wow, this guy's enthusiastic. Jeez, man. I wish I was enthusiastic about work as he is. Right, here we go. Ha boom! There we go. All right, fantastic. Ha ha! There we go. All right, brilliant. Right, nobody should be able to get in there and kill him now. Brilliant! Nice one. Right, now then, uh, we need to go get the other villagers now. Uh, let, let's take the shortcut way down, shall we? So, here we go. Ha! Down we go. And over here. And let's get over to the little pit stop. And... Okay. What? No way, man. You're, you're not actually serious, are you? One of my villagers has died? In the pit stop? How is that even possible? How is... Th oh, man. Alrighty, guys. Farmer villager number two is about to be dropped in. I had to get another one from uh, from Tango's breeder once again. Thank you so much, Tango. This time he's a fisherman, so he actually buys string from me, which is pretty darn useful. I could actually trade with this guy, so that's kind of cool. Ha! There we go. All right, and now to let him out of the cart, and then he'll be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, and can I, like, just do this? Ha! Yeah, we got two farmer type villagers. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, fantastic. Now, all we need to... Oh, look at that. He's been throwing bread around. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so all we need to do now is we need to get a villager into the bottom section. So let's grab out these uh, rails again. We need to go and reconfigure this, basically. Oh, the librarian cartographer dude is really, really excited. Look how much he's, like, dwindling his head around. <laughs> Hilarious. Right, here we go. And he should just go straight down into it, right? Oh, crap. Get down. No! No! No, you're kidding! No! What was blocking it? Oh, are you joking me? Oh my goodness. What am I even doing with my life, bro? Oh my god. Wait. What? You are joking me! That was a ghost block! That's what caused it. That's what caused it. It should have dropped down, but it didn't because there was a goddamn ghost block. You're kidding me! Well, when it comes down to it, this is actually a much, much easier way of pushing them along. Why didn't I think of doing this in the first place? <laughs> this is awesome. There we go, my friends. I think we may finally have this done. Right, let's just check on light levels again. Like, that's okay. Right, absolutely no one should ever be able to spawn in here, so we should, as a matter of fact, have this entire thing finished, right? Like, there shouldn't be anything else I need to do. Right, so what I've got to do is just go ahead and make sure that everything is all nice and covered up. And then, yeah, everything should be good. Hold on a minute, I can have a baby villager. It's working! Oh, there he is! He's down there! Dude, we've got a baby villager! <laughs> That's awesome! No! Oh. I've got to take a close look at this. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him down there. Oh, he's so sweet. All right, so when he grows up, what's going to happen is he's going to go up the waterfall and then down into the village thing, I guess. Oh, that's so cool, though. We actually got one. <gasps> Guys, I think there's another one. Another little baby villager. Oh, he's kind of in... Oh, there he is. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. We've got a new butcher. Hey, this guy was a librarian, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Oh my goodness. Holy! My god, we've got a working villager breeder. <laughs> oh man. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever made a villager breeder as well, so I'm definitely happy that it has gone okay. I mean, honestly, moving villagers has always been a right pain in the butt, but, you know, once you get into a kind of rhythm, then you're kind of okay and good to go, really, so... Not bad, not bad. I'm definitely happy with the fact that we managed to get it done, though, folks. Guys, and there we have it. I've only have for about half an hour, and I've got a guy down here now. The same cartographer, little librarian dude who was born not just a few moments ago. That's amazing. So, yeah, this thing works, and the funneling system to get them down here is indeed also working. Absolutely fantastic. Alrighty, guys, so that will be pretty much the episode done right there. So I want to thank you guys for watching. But before I leave you, we're going to jump into the comment question of the video, which comes from Kneve Plays. Put a big map 
on the cobble wall. Now, obviously, in the last episode, I was uh, wondering what to do with the cobble wall behind the stairs here because the cobble wall of which directly neighbors onto a spawner, as you can see there. And yeah, that's an excellent idea. That is a really excellent idea. This could now be a map wall. That really is a very, very good idea. So thank you so much, Kaneev. I really do appreciate it. That is definitely going to be going down on my things, on my list of things to do, shall I say. So, yeah. Very awesome. Right, we're going to have a quick check of the Villa Jabrida once again. Like I said, I've FK for about half an hour. So I'm hoping there's going to be some more little villages in the little breeder thing. Let's just head up top here. All the way to the top. Oh, the spiral. The spiral is so spirally. Okay. Uh... Ha! Huh. God, gosh darn it. Okay, come on, park up. Ah! There we go. Fantastic. Alright, what's going on over here? Uh, oh, there's three in there now. Oh, is that how it is now? There's three in there? Hey, there's a baby! Oh, there's a little baby! There's a little baby cleric. Oh man, it'll be awesome. I want that cleric to come down here. I wonder if there's any way of me, like, drawing the little baby villagers over, because I've only had the luck of having one come over. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe I need to do a little bit of this. Oh, hang on. He's coming over. No! You must go in there. There you go. Uh, you, you must, you, you must do stuff. Can I, like, push him in? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna push him in. Do it. Go. Go, go, go. Ha! <gasps> no! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've got strength. Oh no, my fists are about as strong as a wood sword now, I forgot. Um, you saw nothing? No one watching this video saw anything either. I, I did nothing, okay? I did absolutely nothing. Okay? Shush. Shush. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible, that was a cleric! Oh no! Oh, that sucks, bro! Are you kidding? Oh, I'm so stupid. Right, well, I guess I'm going to have to AFK here for probably like another few hours or so, so I can get a decent amount of villagers down the bottom. But yeah, like I said, time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to drop a like rating. I'd be super appreciated. It would really help out myself, the video, and of course the channel very much. And I'd super appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you do not want to miss out on future content. And I'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate your continued support. I'll see you guys next time.